Hi, welcome to our channel Connectful System. So in this video, we'll be learn how to create Uru database for adding your company data, and also we are going to see how you can install application on the database. So let's check this right now. So here I am on Uru.com. I'm going to go ahead and create a new database by start by quickly clicking on it's try it for free. Now, once I click on this data, this button, I'll be redirected to a list of applications that I can select to have initially installed on my database. So here, I'm going to go, to go ahead with CRMs and sales. These are good starting point for my company. Keep in mind, the more application you choose, the longer it will take for your database to create. Also, so let's start ahead and start this. Now. Here I need to add my name, my company email, my company name and also I need to add the location of my country, company. However, my company is located in India. This is important because it could affect things like your chart of your account for your Apple account for accounting applications. Once you have a chart of accounts set, you cannot remove it to be sure you have the correct country set here for your company. All right, so let's go ahead and scroll down. Now, here I can select my company size and in the primary data interest, I'll be choosing a student. So once I click on these things, I'll click on start now. Udo will go ahead and start creating your database. So as you can see, these are really cool fireworks and it will take a few moments for the database to be loaded. Now, keep in mind the more application you add, the longer it will take to create the database, as I have mentioned earlier. All right, so it was quick for me. Let's go ahead and check this out. Here, the first thing I notice over the top is an alert now now this alert is about activation pending i need to go to the email that i used to register this database and click on the activation link within the first three hours it's the only way to set database into the full trial mode if you don't do this everything you do in the database will lose within three hours and it will be removed and you cannot restore that so be sure you activate this database within three hours. This is especially important if you went ahead and started to work on the database and if you don't want to lose your information. So I'm, to go, I'm going to go ahead and add some information and then I like to click on the activation link. The first thing I want to do here is add some company information. For that, I'll jump straight up into the setting application right here. The first thing I'll be doing is add some company details. From here, I can add the logo and you can add the phone number, mobile, email and everything. So my company website I would be like to add is www.kanakinfosystems.com and I'll save the setting. So here you can say I have saved the setting. Now after the company information, I'm also going to add some users because of course I do have some employees, right? So, so from the top, I'll go to users and companies and I'll click on the users. Now, by default, I am automatically cre created, but I'm, go I'm going to add, add a head, a new one, because I also work with another associate. So let's go ahead and click on the create button right here. Now, I want to write the name as MJ and I'll add the, it as test. Yeah. 
test at the rate ABC Gmail. Okay. Let's say dot com. We can also modify her, you know, this person. So what I'll be modifying as. So now I'll give him the privileges as. All documents, administration, access rights, billing administration. Okay, like I can give this. And now I'll do all I do will be is to go to save. Right? So now this user has been created. Now as I have created new user, it sent an invitation to that user. She can go ahead and click on and click on this on her email and create a new password to do all of these things now as we can see the invitation email has been sent then if we go to the dash dashboard the setting applications by clicking on the dashboard right now so now we have came to the dashboard now we can check if that user has accepted the invitation or not so we'll be clicking again on the settings and here you can see that the it is the pendant invitation over here okay so we can see here that which new user has been added what is the email address and which invitations are pending the people who have invited here but they haven't click on this activation email just yet now we are still in the settings i'm going to do something else really quickly and that is to add some demo data because as i said this is for training purposes. So I don't want you to create my own data every time. I would like you to create a data that is already existing. So can I can quickly and easily start dis discover the functionalities of Udo. What I'm going to do is activate developer mode. For that I'll be scrolling down and here I'll be clicking on the activate developer mode. once I click on this it will take me or redirect me to the main dashboard but that's just okay I'm gonna go back to my setting application but as but I was saying the developer won't will give you more possibilities you don't have in the standard view with the developer mode I can I can have more information for example I have technical right now I'm going to go ahead and right click I'm going to go ahead and right click on the button load demo data now you should be use this only to test databases once they are loaded they cannot be removed this is really important because although you could potentially delete some contacts there are other sensitive information such as sales order or invoices or other things you will not be able to remove and it may get mixed up with other information. So you need to be really careful and be sure that you don't want to load the demo data or you want to load the demo data. This possibility is only available for training or educational databases. Also databases that are within the first three hours so brand new databases after three hours you will not be able to add demo data so I understand the risk so I am going to go ahead and say yes and of course it will take a moment for them demo data to load as well as this also depends on how many applications you have on your database because it loads demo data for each application right once it's loaded, it will redirect me here to my Uru main dashboard. I can go ahead and check the demo data. As we saw at very beginning, the two applications that I initially installed were sales and CRM. Right. Now here along with sales came invoicing modules such as discuss calendar. Let's go ahead and look at our contacts. Here's all of our data data 
so none of these contact existed before the demo data and as you can see i still have the contact of the user i have created because it doesn't have any photos right we can even go to the sales application and see some sales order as well so that's really neat right let's let's go ahead you can say see here are some sales order also right so but be careful now we have got some demo data let's say i have started using this database a little more and i want to install some more applications so now i what i'll be doing right so i'll click on this app module module right because i don't have to go back to the uru what com and then recreate everything so if i want anything i'll be read i'll download from here for example i need a website i'll be installing it from here now you can install and uninstall the modules whatever you want from here right now we'll straight away go to the dashboard and we can see the website module has been added So that's set for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe and share this video and please subscribe to our channel to know more about Udu. Thank you for watching.